Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to these supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sam Meyer aka Dariel OG, Weez GNZ Gaming, Rank 50, Mac Daddy, and even Moldy Superman YT. These people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So, with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the Eclipse Tower Rooftop Mansion inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements. This mod does require Menu, so make sure you go inside my description below and install Menu. Once you have finished with that process, then I will leave this mod inside my description below so make sure you download this mod as well so let's get straight into it once you have finished installing all your requirements in downloading the mod then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now as you can see I have already installed my requirements so I don't need to install it so once you have finished installing your menu mod then all you got to do is go inside your menu folder then go into your spooner folder now open up your rooftop mansion extract folder and now once you go inside that folder all you got to do okay is just go into your rooftop folder inside your extract folder now there will be a rooftop.xml file all you got to do is select that file and then drag it into your spooner now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now the next thing you got to do is go into your mods folder, go to update, go to time 64 and go to your DRC packs folder. Now go back to your extract folder and all you got to do is select your garage and your rooftop folder and now drag it inside your DRC packs folder and that's all you got to do. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now you're basically finished. Right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder. Now the next thing you gotta do is just only go to your text file, your help text, and now open up that file. Now inside that file, there will be a few things about this mod, okay? Now in this mod, okay, inside the garage folder, there is custom cards inside your garage folder now you can go through this and read it if you want to I'm not going to read it because I know what to do now just scroll down here okay and you'll see a code over here all you gotta do is copy these two codes okay just copy both of them or you can just copy one of them now go to your open IV and now select Grand Theft Audio V Windows this process will take a few seconds. Now once the application is open, go to edit mode, go to yes. Now head over to your mods folder, go to update folder. Now go to your update.rpf file, go to common, go to data, scroll right down the bottom until you'll see drclist.xml. Hover over the file, right click and select edit. Scroll right down the bottom, now select next to the item and then go back on your keyboard and press enter. Now place your code right there and that's all you got to do. Now save your application, go back to your drclist.xml and double click again and make sure that you do double check 
that the code is there and it is saved. Now exit out of your application, select edit mode and then go to your DJV and now exit out of your open ivory. Now you can read through the description if you want to, it's totally up to you. So once you have finished that, then all you gotta do is exit out of your text file, exit out of your extract folder, go back to your desktop, right click, refresh your desktop, and then I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Franklin, so we are going to spawn the mansion mod, okay? So, once you get out of, out of your apartment or wherever you are, all you gotta do is open up your menu. Now to open up menu, all you gotta do is press F8 twice. There we go. Now, go and scroll down to Object Spooner on your menu. Then go down to Manage Save Files. And then down the bottom over here, rooftop, you'll see the file right there. Select the rooftop.xml file and then go to load placements. Now this process will take a few seconds or a few minutes. It all, it all depends on your PC performance. But when you do spawn there, just don't move around too much. Because if you do move around too much, you'll lag out or you'll get FPS drop. Okay, That's only if you have a low PC. But we're going to go and check out this place. Okay, guys, so here we go. And we are here. Now it has been loaded, okay? Now as you can see that we are at the Eclipse Tower, but the mansion is right up top on the roof. So we've got our own garage over here, but uh, we will go in the garage later. Now I'm going to do a showcase about this mod. So let's go over here, guys. Let's just go over here. There we go. And now we are inside our rooftop. This mod is pretty awesome. I haven't been in here, but before I do, let's go in here. What's in here? Oh, this is our garage. So as you can see, we got some custom modded cars over here. Pretty pre. And you can go out, but I'm not gonna go out. Rooftop, and this must be uh, what's this one? Oh no, let's exit. Let's go back in. And yeah, what's over here? And I think this is to the rooftop. Yes, it is. So as you can see, we've got our own helipad up here. This is nice. And uh, this must be the pool, I think. No, this Oh, the basketball court, nice. Wow, there's a lot of uh, detail around here. The, um, the developer has put a lot of work into this mod. Look at it. So, um, is that it? Oh no. There's a pool area too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that's a huge pool too. Wow, damn, nice mod, I reckon, can you go down there, I don't know, and I think these are upstairs over here too, so we've got like a helipad over there, a basketball, basketball court over there, and we've got a big ass pool and a spa pool over there, and we've got, I think this is like a lounge area, an outdoor lounge. And this must be the barbecue. No, the bar. Yeah, the, the barbecue. Yeah, this must be the food area. And this must be the dining room, the outdoor dining room. And this must be the relaxing. Oh, this is a good model. I I really like it. Oh, this must be the skate park. Yeah, it is nice. But I don't have a skateboard. Okay, can we go inside the house? I want to show you guys the house. No, I can't. I think I can go over here. Yes, I can. This must be the bedroom, and this must be 
the bathtub. This is a huge bathtub. And in here is what? The okay, yeah, the bathroom. And in here is nothing it must be the wardrobe. And a shower over there. Nice. One big room. And what is this? Oh, this is to the outside. Okay. With the clothes over here. And over here is the kitchen, the upstairs kitchen and the dining room. And the lounge over here. This lounge is the downstairs lounge. Yeah. And I think you can go outside. Yeah, you can. Nice, nice, nice. And this must be the kitchen. Yes, it is. Nice little house, really. I really like it, but the outdoor is pretty good, pretty green. And this is, must be the exit. Yeah. Pretty good. I like this mod. So that is it for the mod. So I hope you guys did enjoy that showcase because I really like this mod. I'm gonna actually keep this mod on this um, on my folder so I can play it, play it, or do some role plays or etc. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we are back again, guys. So I hope you do enjoy this mod. And this mod is an awesome mod too. I was going to actually delete this mod off my folder, but judging by the details, I'm going to actually keep the mod inside my folder. So this mod is an awesome mod. I really like it. So if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then I'll be more than welcome to help you. Just comment below and I'll be helping out on installing this mod. And this mod is an easy mod to install. It's like doing add-on pads and etc. So make sure you guys do install this mod and make sure that you do install it inside the latest game version. So if you guys do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments or join my Discord server. And then now you can PM me for more details. So with that all said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.